How are you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a refrigerant to the air conditioning system using a product called AC Pro. This product can be purchased at your local auto parts store. It's okay to use it if you just need to top your AC system. Uh, if it's completely empty, this is not something you want to use. You probably want to take it to an AC shop, have the shop evacuate the entire system and add the correct amount of oil and refrigerant back on. Maybe repair any leaks it may have. But you can use AC Pro if it's just slightly low and then your air conditioning is no longer cold. It's just kind of cool but not cold as it used to be. This product is as user friendly as it can be. It has a gauge already built in that will allow you to add the correct amount. These red lines right here is something that you can move and adjust depending on the weather. The black numbers that's your outside temperature so you can adjust these to set your reading depending on the outside temperature the black needle is going to move and it's going to show you how much refrigerant your AC has if your compressor if your system is low you may see the black needle bounce a couple times up and down while the compressor cycles on and off regardless of how hot the temperature is outside you do not want to put these lines on the red because you don't want this needle to go up to the red so this would be your maximum setting right there on an extremely hot day anything colder than that just set it where the small numbers are first thing you want to do unscrew the gauge from the can remove the plastic cap Take note that when you screw this back on, it's going to puncture your can. So just set it on there for right now. Give it a couple turns, but don't put it in. Don't put it on all the way yet. Because you don't want to puncture the can until you're ready. Your next step is to locate the low pressure port in your vehicle. This is a 2000 Mercedes Benz C230 equipped with a four cylinder supercharged engine. And the low pressure port for this particular vehicle is located right here above the AC compressor. You will be able to find yours um, and then what you want to do once you find it, remove the cap to be able to add a refrigerant to the system. Once the plug is removed, start your engine and turn your air conditioning on. system is slightly low. So at this point all you have to do is just push the trigger to add refrigerant and you you should hear it go in. This is gonna have some issues and let it loose and you see where it's at. Just gonna shake it a little bit. And as it starts moving, you can feel the can get colder too because the refrigerant starts moving. And there it is, right there. My system has the refrigerant that it should have with the weather that I had correct. If you didn't have the need to use the whole can, you're gonna have to leave it connected. Otherwise, when you try to remove this, it's gonna, your entire refrigerant that's left in your can is gonna leak out. Now, what you may notice, like in my case, once it's disconnected, 
the needle is going to show higher uh, because now it's reading the pressure of the can uh, the last time you squished the trigger so you know that's okay uh, you just make sure you leave this can in a place maybe in your garage don't leave it inside your house in case it ends up leaking somewhere safe you know uh, if you have a second vehicle then hopefully you can just finish using your can and you don't have to worry about it I just show you how simple it is to have a refrigerant using AC Pro as I mentioned earlier AC Pro is as easy as it gets I mean there's no other product right now in the market that's easier to have a refrigerant than this so now you can take more family trips during the summer, enjoy your cold air, and have all your passengers happy. Uh, thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you visit my online store. I have great deals on truck and auto accessories. So take some time to check it out and see what you think. See you next time.